and welcome, my name's Sarah and today I'm going to look at changing the subject. This is on the MEI syllabus for AS Maths in Core 1. It's really building on what you did at GCSE, so if you were happy and confident with this at GCSE, it shouldn't be too much to step up for you. If, however, you were struggling with this slightly at GCSE, it might be worth going back, doing a bit more practice on that. All the basic algebraic skills learned at GCSE are really going to be used in AS a lot. You need to be really happy and comfortable, confident with them. So do keep practicing until you get to that point. I'm going to do five examples today, slowly increasing in difficulty. So please do pause the video when I put each one up, have a go yourself, come back and compare. So this first example, I want to make X the subject. So please do pause and have a go. The first thing I want to do is get rid of the H, that's the denominator, I don't like fractions. Now because we're dividing by H, we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to bring it onto this side by timesing by H. So that H is going to come up to this side here, so we'll have H times Y. On this side we'll just be left with W times X minus T. Next thing I'm going to do is get rid of the W, I'm trying to get X on its own, so it's like I'm picking the outer layers. Like, it, like I'm picking an onion or something. So I'm going to get rid of this W. Because we're timesing by W, I'm going to do the opposite. That's divide by it, so that's going to go down. So HY divided by W, left with X minus T on that side. And now we're just one step away from getting X on its own. Getting rid of this minus T, opposite, add it. Plus T equals X. Just really quickly, you might have done it a slightly different way and that's fine. At this point, if you had expanded the brackets, you would have got... So then you might want to get rid of this term, the WT minus WT, so add that onto that side. And then the final step would be to get rid of the W. Now, because they're times then you would divide. Now, they are actually the same, they might not look it, but they are the same. Just to convince you that they're the same, you can split this into two different fractions. And on this fraction here, you've got W on the top and the bottom, so they actually cancel. So now that does look like that one there. Okie dokie, have you had a go? I want to get rid of the half first of all, I don't like fractions, so if this one's got, you're dividing by 2 effectively, effectively so the opposite is to times by 2, so we're going to bring the 2 up, so times by 2 to get 2e, and you're left with mv squared. Now I want to get rid of the M, so because the times thing will divide by it. Left with V squared. And to get V on its own, I do the opposite of squaring, which is square rooting. Have you had a go? This one's more like one you would get in an AS paper, so if you get this one right, well done, you're on a good path there. We're making G the subject this time. First I'm going to get rid of the 2 pi, it's all times things, so I'm going to divide. Next I want to get rid of the square roots, so I'll square everything, square the top, square the bottom. Just simplifying that, 2 squared is 4. 4 pi squared. Now, um, next I'll get rid of the g that's on the bottom. We're dividing, so I'll times by it. So I'm going to times that up to this side. I'll just put it there so it's equal to L. Now we want g on its own, so now we need to get all of this back onto that side. So I'm going to bring the 4 pi squared up to that side. It doesn't matter which way order I write things in when they're multiplying. Normally it's, it's good etiquette to put the number at the beginning, that's the only reason I did that. Okay, that's, that's brought that bit up, so we're left with t squared g, and then we want to get rid of, oh, actually, I'll put that step in, but if you can do it one step, that's brilliant. 
Now we want to get rid of the t squared, so we'll divide by it, bring that down, so g, 4 l pi squared over t squared. Well done if you got that one right. Okay, this time we're making b the subject. Now, this one's slightly more complicated still. The b comes up twice in this fraction, so this needs a very specific method. If you've not seen this before, don't worry if you can't get it because you need to see this before you can do it. Now, what we're going to do is first get this b up onto this side, so we'll times by it. And we need to get every term containing a b together on one side, everything else on the other side. So at the moment that's a positive 2b adding, so I'll take it around to this side, equals 5. Now because b occurs in both of these terms, we can factorise, take it out as a common factor, and now we can see how to finish that off. b times by a minus 2, so we're going to divide by a minus 2. So if your term comes up twice, get everything with that letter on one side, everything else on the other, factorise and divide. Okay, last one, we want to make P the subject here. So the first thing I'm going to do, it, it comes up twice, so we're going to use a, a similar method to the one we used previously. First I'm going to bring the P plus 2 up to the other side, times by it. Multiply out that bracket there. I'm going to get everything with P in on one side, everything else on the other. So I'm going to take that one onto that side, and I'm going to take that one onto that side. Now I can factorise and divide that one down. Well done if you got that one right. That's probably the most complex you'll get. Keep practicing those and have fun.